They said my methods were unsound, not suitable for a child entering first grade. Who are they to judge my methods? Who are they to say I'm wrong? So I did this when I was only two. And I did this when I was four. And I did this when I was 52. And then Hitler, he had, he moved in all over Europe, and then we had to, like, come across the water, and then would just wipe them out, and then the Russians were coming in. Oh, fuck, double hymen, squeakle spot, this, this, this fuck, and this wookest bit. And then, you know, I don't know what they were doing in Africa, but something was going on there, so we had to, like, Germans, we're gonna get you, and we're gonna conquer, and then come from the water and and on the beaches speak of spot in spun some apple apple goof in this moment car we will conquer it all we're gonna just destroy you and just just you know tanks and guns and things and drop an eight bomb on you guys over there In Season 4, Episode 6, Spock, while on shore leave with Captain Kirk and Dr. McCoy, poses this question. Is existence a property of individuals? And if we assume this to be true, are there individuals that lack it? Do you agree or disagree with this thesis? Please write your answer down. It was really a true question. There was no fourth season of Star Trek, and therefore its non-existence was not accidental. Accidental, accidental. but, but solely, solely, solely the property, property, property short-sighted short NBC, 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 NBC executive. NBC And for today's experiment, all we need is one cup of ice, a mixer, common household alcohol, and olives. Let's begin. what Elvis is teaching here is that Jesus gets kind of busy and sometimes we need to give him a little nudge like hey Jesus over here I'm here otherwise one's prayers may get over Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Get in the car. 